Okay, so let's solve this problem. So given an equation, we have 9x squared plus 4y squared plus 18x minus 16y minus 11 equals 0. So we need to write this one in standard form and find the coordinates of the center, the foci, the vertices, and the minor axis. Then we need to graph. So this is the equation of an ellipse. So first thing to do is to group the equation, group all x, and you group all y. And this constant, transpose that to the right side. So that becomes, so we have first group, the 9x squared plus 18x. Then the second group, we have 4y squared minus 16y. Then this negative 11 becomes positive 11. So next, you need to put this uh, numerical coefficient of x squared and y squared outside. Then to simplify, just have to divide uh, every term by this number you put outside. So for x, you divide every term by 9, divide by 9, divide by 9. So we have now uh, x squared plus the 2x. Then for y, divide this by 4. So we have now the y squared minus the 4y. And then bring down... Uh, 11. Then uh, proceed to completing the square. So in completing the square, so that's 2 divided by 2 to the power 2. So that's 1 square and 1 square is 1 times 1 and that's 1. Then 4y, we have 4 divided by 2 and take the square. So 4 divided by 2, that's 2 square and 2 square is 2 times 2 and that's 4. Then for your new equation, just add this number. To create a new equation, so for x, we have 1, and for y, we have 4. Then, uh, the number you added on the left side should also be added on the right side. But since we have number outside, so you need to multiply these two numbers, then you put that on the right side. And also for y, so multiply these two numbers, then put that on uh, the right side. Okay, then uh, factoring, so for x, factors uh, x squared, that's x times x, and factors of 1, this one, that's 1 times 1, and since the middle term is positive, so all positive. Then for y, factors of y squared, we have y times y, and factors of 4, this one, that's 2 times 2, and since the middle term is negative, so therefore, all negative. Then on the right side, you need to simplify this one. So 9 times 1 and 4 times 4, that's 16. Then since we have 2 uh, x plus 1, so we can write this one as x plus 1 squared and also y minus 2. So that's y minus 2 squared. Then on the right side, you simplify. So 11 plus 9 plus 16, and that's 36. Now, since uh, the equation of an ellipse is uh, equal to 1, so you need to divide every uh, term by 36. So divide by 36, divide by 36, divide by 36, and 36 divided by 36, that's 1. So you need to reduce this 9 over 36, that's 1 fourth, and this 4 over 36, that's uh, 1 over 9. So this is your standard equation of an ellipse now since in an ellipse the larger denominator is a and 9 is the larger denominator so therefore our formula is uh, x squared over b squared plus y squared over a squared because our uh, larger denominator is the denominator of the y squared then you solve for a a so just equate these two numbers, so a squared equals 9, then uh, you take the square root, so we have now uh, a is equal to 3. Then to solve for b, so we have to equate this, so we have now uh, b squared, that's equal to 4, then take the square root, so b is uh, equal to 2. Then to solve for c, Using this formula, the square root of a squared minus b squared. So we have now our a squared, that's 9. Then minus the b squared, that's 4. 
So, uh, 9 minus 4, so C is square root of 5. Then to solve for H, so from this formula to this equation, since uh, on our computed equation, a uh, positive 1, therefore our H is negative 1. And for K, K is uh, positive 2. So we have now uh, the values for A, B, C, again A, B, C, the H, and the K. So we can solve now the center, the vertices, the foci, and the minor axis of our ellipse. So from our formula, that's uh, x squared over b squared and y squared over a squared. So this formula, so therefore we're going to use this formula to solve for uh, the center, the vertices, the foci, and the minor axis. So these are the uh, computed values. So from the center, the h and k, so we have now the h and the k. So center, that's negative 1 and 2. Then for the vertices, we have h, then k plus and minus a. So substitute the value. So h is negative 1, then k is 2, then a is uh, 3. Then you need to rewrite this one, the plus and minus. So that's 2 plus 3 and 2 minus 3. Then you simplify. So we have now negative 1 and 5. And the other coordinate of the vertex, it's negative 1 and negative 1. Now, uh, the foci, so the h and k plus and minus c, so h is negative 1, then k is 2 plus minus c, that's uh, square root of 5. Then you rewrite that one, the plus and minus, and this uh, square root of 5, that's equals to 2.24. So 2.24, so you simplify. So 2 plus 2.24, uh, that's 4.24. And this one... 2 minus 2.24, so that's negative uh, 0.24. Then for the uh, minor endpoints, so h plus and minus uh, b, then k. So we have one, negative 1 plus and minus 2, then uh, k is 2. Then you rewrite that one, the plus and minus. So this negative 1 plus 2, that's positive 1. And negative 1, negative 2, that's negative 3. So these are the coordinates of the center, the vertices, the foci, and the minor endpoints. Then to graph or ellipse using these coordinates, so first you need to plot the center, then the vertices, okay, then uh, the foci. Okay. So this one is the foci, that one. Then uh, our minor endpoints. So after plotting all the coordinates, then you need to draw our ellipse. So this is now the graph of our ellipse. Okay, so let's have another example. So write the standard equation of an ellipse with foci and uh, the major axis. So first, we need to graph this uh, given. So uh, given the coordinates of the foci, that's uh, negative 3 and 2, and also 5 and 2. Okay, now since uh, the foci is in horizontal position, so therefore our formula now, that's x squared over a squared plus y squared over the b squared. Because if foci or vertices in horizontal position, so the formula is x squared over a squared. But if foci and vertices in a vertical position, so the formula is x squared over b squared and y squared over the a squared. Then, uh, these are the things to remember for an ellipse. So, uh, distance from center to vertex, distance from center to minor axis or minor endpoints, and the distance from center to focus. So, first, we need to find the center of our ellipse. So, take note that at the midpoint of foci and the midpoint of vertices and the midpoint of the minor axis is the center of our ellipse. So, using the midpoint formula, that x squared plus uh, x sub 1 plus x sub 2 and y sub 1 plus the y sub 2. So these are the values. So you just have to substitute now the value. So that's our x sub 1, then plus the x sub 2. Then we have the y sub 1 plus the y sub 2. Okay, then uh, you simplify. So negative uh, 3 plus 5 plus 2 and 2 plus 2, that's 4. Then 2 over 2. Again 2 over 2. 
and 4 over 2, that's 1 and 2. So this is now the coordinate of the center of our ellipse. And you place that on a graph. So that's the center. Then uh, we have now the center to the focus. Then take note that the center to focus is uh, C. So to solve for C, you just count. So from this uh, point, so start counting on the next point. So we have 1, 2, 3, and 4. So therefore, C is 4. Then since we also have the given uh, major axis, that's 12. And we have here that half of the major axis is uh, A. So just divide this one by 2. Solve for A. So that's 12 divided by 2. So A now is uh, 6. Okay, so we have the A, the C, and the center. So we still need to solve for uh, B. So from our center, the H and K, that's 1 and 2. So H is 1, K is 2. Then our A is uh, 6. Then C, that's 4. Then to solve for B, using this uh, formula, the C squared plus A squared minus B squared. So we need to derive now the formula for B. So transpose this B score to the left side and C to uh, the right side. So B squared now, that's A squared minus the C squared. Then you uh, substitute the values. So we have uh, 6 squared and the 4 squared. And then 6 squared is 36 and 4 squared is 16. Then we have 36 minus 16, that's uh, 20. Now, there is no need for us to simplify this one to solve for B by taking the square root. So, just say that B squared is 20 because in our formula, we have this, the B squared. Okay, then you substitute now the value. So, we have H is uh, 1, K is 2, then A squared, that's uh, 6 squared. Then we have the B squared, the B squared is 20. Then uh, you simplify this uh, 6 squared. So, that's... Uh, uh, x minus 1 squared plus y minus uh, 2 squared. Then we have the 36 and the 20. So this is the equation of our ellipse. Okay, so this is our last example. So write the standard equation of an ellipse with coordinates of foci and the uh, coordinates of the minor endpoints. So first, again, we need to graph our uh, given. So from the given uh, coordinates of uh, foci, so that's negative, uh, positive 3 and negative 3. Then we also have the 3 and 1. And the minor in points, it's uh, 0 and negative 1 and also 6 and 1. So this is our graph. And take note, the point of intersection is our center. Okay? Now, so therefore, the center of this uh, ellipse is so H and K. So we have... Uh, 3 and the negative 1. So again, H is 3 and K, that's negative 1. So let's go back to things to remember on ellipse. So distance from center to uh, vertex or half of the major axis, that's A. In B, the center to minor endpoints or half of the minor axis. In C, that's the distance from the center to the focus. So looking back to our graph, so we have this one, the center to focus. So center to uh, focus, that's uh, C. So you just use the counting method. So from this point, start counting on the next point. So we have 1 and 2. So therefore, C is equal to 2. Then we also have this one, uh, center to the minor in point. So center to the minor in point. Okay, so that's uh, B, then use the counting method, so just count uh, uh, on the next point. So from this uh, starting point, so start counting 1, 2, and 3, so therefore B is 3. Then to solve for A, since we have B and C, so we can solve for A using this formula, the C squared equals uh, A squared minus B squared, so to solve for A, so just transpose this uh, negative b squared to the uh, left that becomes positive b squared so a squared is equal to b squared plus c squared then you substitute the uh, value so b squared that's uh, this one the 3 squared and c the 2 squared so 3 squared is 9 
and 2 squared is 4, so then uh, 9 plus uh, 4, that's uh, 13. Then you take the square root to solve for A. So therefore, A now is square root of 13. So since we have the uh, the five values now, the A, the B, the C, the H, and the K, so this is the A, uh, the B, the C, the H, and the K. So we can solve now our uh, equation of an ellipse. So formula to use now. Since in our graph, uh, the foci is in vertical position, so therefore the formula is x squared over b squared plus y squared over the a squared. So again, if the foci or vertices in a vertical position, so formula to use, that's x squared over b squared plus the y squared over the a squared. Okay, then you substitute now the values. So from x minus h, h is 3, then y minus k, k is negative 1, then we have the b squared, so we have the one and the a squared, so that's square root of 13 squared. Then you uh, simplify, so this uh, 3 squared and this double negative and this square root of 13 squared is, so we have now the 3 squared is 9, double negative that's positive, and square root of 13 squared, that's 13. So this is now the equation of our ellipse.